Security has changed significantly over the years. You know, I, I've been doing this now for 41 years. Early part of my career, never even thought. This part of my career, think about it every day. And you know, and Motorola has been the solution for us in terms of being able to, to solve those issues uh, in our district. Education is always going to be our number one priority, but safety has got to be right there with it. Uh, there is no way any of us got into this business of educating and would not protect those kids no matter what it takes. And the Motorola solutions have helped us do that, to be honest with you. you know, I feel a lot better when I'm not in the district about the security of our buildings and what we've got in place to prevent any intruder from coming in. Now, can we stop them? Probably not, but we definitely can slow them down with the systems we have in place in order to get law enforcement there to assist us if we in fact do have a situation. Education is when these children walk into our buildings, we have a responsibility not only to provide a quality education, but to make sure they're safe. I think parents realizing that, you know, you're gonna go through a few steps before you get into our building, and then once you get into our building, you're gonna go through a process to make sure we know who you are so we can track you. So I think those those are always good things, measures that parents are, are they don't always necessarily come out and say that, but they are supportive of it. And we've had a few parents over the years say, boy, I really appreciate you guys keeping my kids safe. And you know, and that makes it all worth it for me. The holistic approach that Motorola is looking at, as far as bringing in the radio systems, um, you can even bring in clocks and, and intercoms. Uh, you can bring in, you know, obviously, your, your cameras and, and door access. Um, that was a, 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 a look that we had not seen yet. Um, and it started as something small, and it continued, it continued to grow over years when we were able to add different pieces. Uh, we started with the cameras and the access systems. We recently added in the radios. Um, you know, our, our, our uh, intercoms and a lot of our clocks are, are through Motorola as well, and, and we're building that system up so that they can all be integrated together and work seamlessly. Our prior systems that we had, uh, you know, we have, uh, we, we had three buildings uh, at the time uh, in two different towns, um, and everybody had security cameras, everybody had, or, or, or not everybody had access cards and all that kind of stuff, but it was all different systems. Um, and so, uh, being able to access those systems sometimes if we were uh, in Moroa and we needed to access a, a system, a video system in, in Forsyth, we would not, we were not easily able to do that. We could not get it on our cell phones or mobile devices. Um, and so um, just integrating everything together obviously makes things work better um, and they work more seamlessly. And so being able to do that, plus just from a service standpoint and, and pro the product standpoint, we have a, a center point to go to at all times. We know who we're going to to contact if there is a an issue before we had uh, three different companies we contacted for three different security cameras um, and so it, it's been nice to be able to do that and be able to have everything under the same system because we know who that center point contact is uh, and and we know where our service will come from whenever they came out they were able to demonstrate uh, on the spot, but right, be able to log in into other systems that they might have already had in place and show us how they work. They showed us how the uh, the 180 cameras worked on the corners of buildings. They showed us how a license plate reader worked and, and was able to identify vehicles as they entered and exited the building. They were able to show us how they were able to set alerts for when someone is uh, is doing opening a door they shouldn't or in the building when they shouldn't. Um, how that tied into the card system or the uh, the entry system and how it tied into the to the uh, the radio system and. How how was one total system together that worked together that they were able to easily show that to us right on the spot um, and, it, and so you could see that it worked. Vectech was very knowledgeable but they also brought in people from Motorola uh, and, and, and that, that had very uh, in-depth knowledge about the different products and how they work together so even if they weren't fully aware of how everything worked they had the people there that absolutely knew what it was um, they worked very well uh, with the Motorola Solutions people they I mean it seemed like it was just one big team um, and the communication has always been really good between all of us and Motorola and Bechtech so uh, they definitely worked well with them. You know, I think one of the things we just talked about it briefly a few moments ago is, you know, being able to check your students as they come in the door without them really knowing we're checking them uh, to see if there anything's being brought into the school. We're scanning students as they come in and uh, not, not for an invasion of privacy, but just to make sure we're, we're not bringing things that should not be in school. We're, 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 we're taking care of those measures. So I see that as probably a, a, another step for us in terms of the security 